Ramo Impulse and Impulse Our First Look With fanfare akin to a movie premiere, Ramo finally took the wraps off its long-awaited production-level Impulse and Impulse R models this past Tuesday, May 8, in Hollywood, California. The unveiling of the Impulse happened just a couple months shy of two years from when the company initially announced the sport bike-like electric motorcycle. The hundreds in attendance Tuesday evening were able to see for the first time the electric motorcycle that Bramo says is capable of reaching 100 miles per hour and has a potential range of more than 100 miles. The impulse is something of known quantity in terms of Bramo's claims about the bike's performance, its look, and final specs released just weeks ago. The news at the unveiling event was pricing and production plans. The Impulse will retail for $16,995, while the Impulse R with its with carbon fiber fenders, headlight shroud, and tail light housing, an up-spec, fully adjustable, Marzaki fork and sax shop, will sell for $18,995. The standard Impulse has seen a $3,000 increase from when the Impulse 10.0 was announced two years ago. When Bramo first announced the Impulse in July 2010 it initially had three models in the chute, the Impulse 6.0, with a 6.0 kWh, kWh, lithium-ion battery, the Impulse 8.0 with 8.0 kWh battery, and the Impulse 10.0 with a 10 kWh battery. However, Bramo dropped the smaller capacity battery models. Consumer feedback revealed to Bramo that riders wanted most the range and speed the 10 kWh battery provides. It was also consumer feedback that led to the transmission. Bramo's proprietary and updated BPM 1590s lithium-ion battery in the new M-Plus and M-Pulse R has a 10.2 kWh max, capacity. The battery can charge with either 120V level I, like the outlets in your house, or 240V Level 2J1772 charge stations. Holman began playing piano as a child and hails from musically inclined parents that, as she says, gave her a love for the blues as well as bluegrass sounds, which manifest in her work on the acoustic guitar. In 2011 Holman released a limited edition EP, Dusty Road, that includes her song work prior to CO forming the in from out of towners. Granger performed on many of the EP's recordings and CO wrote as well. Granger and Pullman are notably cohesive, both musically and lyrically. The fluidity with which they play their roots style rhythms belies the band's short incubation period but speaks to their years of combined experience. The in from out of towners music is an amalgam of similarly styled music, with Granger's harmonica presence at times reminiscent of Neil Young's work on Harvest Moon and Pullman's soothing yet endearingly raspy at times vocal style clearly carrying hints of folk, the blues, country ballad, and bluegrass. But they cover this breadth of styles well, bluesy for sure but also a little bit country, and little bit rock and roll, too.